Please. No! <laughs> Why are you falling? <laughs> This is not a good advert for blue tack. Hi hi campers, welcome back to another video. This week on Educating Ellie, we are doing the 100 books bucket list challenge. Ooh. My birthday last week, my, my brother, my lovely brother, bought me this lists 100 books and you go through and you sort of scratch the ones that you've read and you get a lovely picture and that kind of motivates you to read all of the others so that you work out or you get to see what all of the pictures are I don't know how many I have read yet and I feel it's gonna be low I've got my money I've got a 20p and a 50p because I didn't know which to use because I never do scratch cards. Maybe we're going to discover some kind of deep-rooted gambling problem in me this week. First up we have American Gods by Neil Gaiman which I haven't read. I haven't read very much Neil Gaiman uh, despite the fact I think I think I'd like it. But then we have Siddhartha by Herman Hesse which I also haven't read. Sophie's World by Jostein Gardner, which I've never even heard of. Pfft, A Brief History of Time by Stephen Hawking, not read that either. The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald, I've read that one, yay, okay. My first scratch, I really want to say scratch and sniff, and also my first scratch sounds really dirty. So the OCD part of me wants to scratch it all off, but we'll be here forever. Oh, they look like Harry Potter's glasses. Next up, we've got To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. I've also read that. And then the one after that, Matilda by Roald Dahl. I've also read that. Yay, I've not done that awfully. They're a bit messy. I will fix them at some point. But we've got the cake from Matilda, which I think is more synonymous with the film and less with the book, but there we go. Finishing off this line, we've got The Complete Art of War by Sun Tzu and Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep, which is definitely on my to-do list of books to read. Moving on, the second line. Long Walk to Freedom by Nelson Mandela. Nope. Murder on the Orient Express by Agatha Christie. Yes. The Man Who Mistook His Wife for a Hat by Oliver Sacks. Noughts and Crosses by Mallory Blackman. Yes, I have read that. In Cold Blood by Truman Capote. I have not read that. Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. I have read that. Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. I have read. The Secret History of Donna Tart. I haven't heard of half of these. Is that really bad? And Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte. And finally, 1984 by George Orwell. And I have read those last two, which means that my numbers have possibly gone up to double figures now, which is exciting. Yay, that was quite a good line for me. Onwards, we have got The Grapes of Wrath by John Steinbeck, which I have listened to on audiobook, but I haven't read. So the uh, the debate in the uh, box below, do I get to do I get to colour that in or not? To scratch or not to scratch? For now, I'm not gonna scratch. Norwegian Wood by Haruki Mur Murakami, which I haven't read. One Flew Over the Cookie's Nest, I have read. Man in the Iron Mask, The Colour Purple, I haven't read. The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, Lolita, I have not read. Great Expectations, I have not read. The Harry Potter series by J.K. Rowling, which I have definitely read, and his Dark Materials trilogy by Philip Pullman, which I haven't read, but I really, really, really want to. The Old Man and the Sea by Ernest Hemingway, I have not read. The Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde, I have read. Ulysses by James Joyce, I have read, as you guys kind of know. It's such a long book, and I've written an essay on it, and it was one of the best essays I wrote at university. It's a bike! Interesting. Could have been anything. A bike was not what I was expecting. Bad Science by Ben Goldacre, never even heard of. I Catch the Castle by Dodie Smith, nope. Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, no. Les Miserables by Victor Hugo, no. 
the catcher in the rye, no, and wind in the willows, yes. This one, once again, is a tour line, which is not very good. One thing I would say about this poster is maybe you should do it outside because I have got bits of muck and dirt and all of that sort of silver stuff everywhere in my room and I anticipate a hoovering debut. Game of Thrones I have not read, I started it and I just couldn't finish it. The Help by Catherine Stockett, once again, I haven't read it yet. Flowers for Algernon by Daniel Keyes, not read. I Know Where the Cage Bird Sings, not read. American Psycho, not read. Notes from a Small Island, not read. Macbeth by William Shakespeare, I have read. Lord of the Rings trilogy, I have not read. History of Venice by John Julius Norwich, I haven't read. And the Selfish Gene by Richard Dawkins, I also haven't read. A Wild Sheep Chase by Haruki Murakami, again, he gets on there twice. Uh, Shinless Art by Thomas Kennelly, not read. Lumber Fields by Matt Amos, not read. Hans Wasserfeld by Sir Arthur Pindor, I have read. My Man Jeeves by Richard Woodhouse, I haven't read, but I think I like. English Patience by Michael on Datche, I'm sorry if I'm saying that wrong. I have read. Melville Foss, I haven't read. The Count of Monte Cristo, I have not read. The S Commitments by Roddy Doyle, nope, not read that either. The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood, which I am happy to say I have read. Line 8, Gladys Alwood, The Little Woman by Gladys Alwood, I haven't read. I have read Little Women, but that doesn't seem to be on here. Midnight Children by Sam Rushdie, I haven't read. Tess of the D'Urbervilles by Thomas Hardy, I have not read. The Boy in the Striped Pyjamas by John Boyne, I have read. Hamlet by William Shakespeare, I have read. The Time Machine by H.G. Wells, I have read. Winnie the Pooh, The Complete Collection by A.A. A. Milne, I have also read. And Animal Farm by George Orwell, I have also read. So, line eight has, is looking pretty good for me. My arm is starting to hurt. So we are on the home stretch now. The Diary of a Young Girl by Anne Frank, I have not read. The Enchanted Boy by Nigel, I have not read. Dragon Love by Grand Sofa, I have not read. All Final Rest in the Front by Eric Maria and Mark Kay, I have read. It's actually, fun fact, the first book I ever read at university. Bridget Jones's Diary by Helen Fielding, I have also not read. Good morning, um, editing Ellie here. Excuse the lack of face makeup and the pyjamas. I've just been watching my video back and I realised I completely lied. I have! read Bridget Jones's diary. I read it in German and I just forgot. I read it on my Kindle as well, which might be the reason why, but yeah, done that one, beasted that out. I'm gonna go cross it off now. Add another one to the list. Woo! Time Runner, I've not read. Pride and Prejudice, I have read. To the Lighthouse, I have read. Memoirs of a Geisha, I have not read. And Misery by Stephen King, not read either. I've uncovered my first green square. Yay! Chronicles of Narnia by C.S. Lewis, I have read. I've read the whole series. Watch It Down by Richard Adams, I have not read. The Odyssey by Homer, I have not read. War and Peace by Leo Tolstoy, I have not read. Birdsong by Sebastian Fox, I have read. And I absolutely hated it. Hell Noel by Harlan Coburn, I've never even heard of. Moby Dick by Herbert Melville, I haven't read. But I do know how it begins because of the end of the Matilda film. The Tale of Two Cities by Charles Dickens, I have not read. Middlemarch by George Eliot, I have not read. And Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte, I have read. <laughs> Overall, I have read 29 books out of the 100 books bucket list poster. I'm sorry to interrupt again me from the past but I thought I would let you know that with the Bridget Jones's diary one that you missed and also the Hounds of the Baskervilles which you forgot to colour in yesterday brings your grand total up to 31. We made it to 30! Yeah! What I find interesting is the fact that Charles Dickens, George Orwell, George Eliot and Haruki Murakame get mentioned more than once. I think you should choose one book from each author because then it would give more authors the chance uh, and the opportunity to appear in something like this. Lots of books that aren't on there that I think should be on there and I know it's very difficult to condense thousands of years of literature into a hundred books but I don't know. What do you think? Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. It was a little bit different uh, but that's always good I think always good to do something new and different and I will see you guys next week happy Easter eat lots of chocolate and read lots of books bye hi guys if you liked this video make sure to give it a like and if you want to see more videos like this hit that subscribe button down there the books I got for my birthday one murder of a lady a Scottish mystery by Anthony Wynne the Brontes a life in letters Dr. Tenth, Christmas surprise, isn't it so cute?